You go to Accra girls today, ask them before the double track and now, what is their class size? The class size has dropped. So now teachers have lower class size. I'll, I'll not be able to say it's true of all senior high, but I know about Accra girls that their class, class sizes have dropped because of the double track. Now, if your class has a drop and you leverage it well, you'll have an opportunity to improve quality. But that in itself, double track in itself, it's not a, 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 it's not a silver bullet. It's a silver lining. You can take advantage of it and do some quality things. However, if you're going to improve quality, you're going to have to train your headmasters, retrain, and then create a different pipeline for headmasterships, as my brother rightly said. And if you look at this year's budget, there's a training component that is reflected in it that we're going to create a pipeline of new headmasters in this country. Okay. You don't have to teach for 40 years before you become a headmaster and then you retire the next day. What we are saying is this. If you have young and dynamic individuals who have taught for three to four years, show leadership skills. Nothing stops us from putting them in a leadership pipeline so that they become the leaders of our schools. So, so we're not going to throw our hands up in the air and keep on saying that uh, provided the headmasters, that, then we did not give them capacity. So there are quality issues that we are tackling because as you said, and as I even used the PISA research to buttress, if we don't improve quality, we are throwing money away. For example, intervention grants, uh, 50 cities per student in all high schools from uh, 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 year one to year three, all schools is because we believe in making sure that that students who are struggling will be provided tutoring. So we are doing it now.